Yo, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing another Black Border. This time with a similarly difficult map, Encrypted. And I have played around with it for a bit. And the best start that I can find is just three Dar Monkeys into four. Because I don't want to use this platform up here yet. Because I'll be putting a village there later on. So I'll be skipping the early game. But it's literally just going to be three Dar Monkeys like this and then another dart monkey up there and yet by round eight you should be able to afford the for the second uh second dart monkey on this side fourth dart monkey total and yeah this should clear out most of the rounds and these should help with the purples on 25 because what we are going to be going for today is the prince of darkness and the wizard lord phoenix um yeah, so we're going to start with the Prince of Darkness first, because he is going to be the mid-game. And then the Wizard Lord Phoenix recently got some big buffs, actually. The the Summon Phoenix now shoots two projectiles instead of one, and the Wizard Lord Phoenix shoots three. So, he's not, like, immediately necessary, but the Prince of Darkness will be, because... Now, I'm still kind of don't really know which one I want to go for, because this one can see out of the walls, but then, of course, this cross path is better. I'm not really sure why, I just know it is. Um, I think I do need to go for this top path, though. Yeah. I'm good with that, I'm good with that. But yeah, this is about... Then we're going to go for the bottom path. After this, no, you, we should go for Geraldo probably, right? That makes more sense. So yeah, we'll skip to when we get Geraldo. So actually, there's been a bit of change of plans. I'm going to go for a... Where's the spot for it? I'm going to go for a second wizard. Instead of saving up for Geraldo. Because... Um, round 15 is kind of scary with the pinks. And... Yeah... I kept dying to it um, when I was doing testing for this early game, and since I do not want to, I want this to be a black border because though the non-black borders are easier, the black borders are obviously much cooler and much more fulfilling as the person uh, who's doing them. So we yeah, have Prince of Darkness is going to be a must. But I think before that, I need to get the Dragon's Breath for the Moab. Because just the Necromancer won't be able to beat the Moab. And then what I'll also be doing is I'm going to be placing down. Do I? Do or do I not? Because 25 is honestly a toss-up if these Dark Monkeys will catch every single pink. They can clean this up, right? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. No black border, I guess. I will black border it on my own time when I have more patience than today. And more time than today. But don't worry, guys. This will still be a guide. Like, how do they snipe at that time? Like, it's so RNG. It's kind of annoying. Not even kind of. It's really annoying. Five target? Not today, not today. I wonder if I target the wall of fire up here, will it snipe these balloons? Um, no, it just gets eaten by the purples. And one of them sneaks through. Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. And we missed two purples that time. That's like, that's just crazy to me. How much of a toss-up it really is. To... Oh, it will actually snipe up there. That is actually amazing. Yeah. Wall of Fire OP. Until I forget to set it back. Okay, well. Why is it on last? Okay, round 32. Kind of scary, but... the We passed it. The good thing about the camo pot is that it will catch the camo on 24 and then last just enough rounds to catch the camos on 33. 
and we will also be able to afford the Dragon's Breath this round. We will not go directly for the Summon Phoenix yet, because I do want um, this guy to be a Shimmer, so I don't have to continue buying Camo Pots until the late game when they get range. And I do want to eventually get him to actually be able to see outside, because he'll probably be able to see Moabs, but Balloons will are obviously still in the game. It's not just Moabs. And the Prince of Darkness should obviously be able to, you know, clean up all the balloons, but, you know, the Wizard Lord of Phoenix needs to do something, right? Necromancer, just in time, but the thing about him right now is he's got low range, and most of the balloons are either getting popped in here or out here. So, as you can see, his zombies are all just going to, you know, get used up. But, I guess, the Moab did still pop in here. But yeah, I will not be targeting these, because then they'll just focus one lane. Like, if I do that, then this lane's just obviously going to get overrun. But, I mean, I guess it'll keep his graveyard more full then. But once we get the Prince of Darkness, I will not be targeting them. Because I do want all the zombies to spawn in here. Right by him. The eventually going to be the Wizard Phoenix, which I do have an Insta Monkey of. Obviously, you guys can't see that, but yeah, go watch that video if you haven't. Pretty hype. Two tier fives in one. But yeah, uh, speaking of videos, I did not, I forgot to like upload, not really forget, but one of my friends wanted to do a collab with me where we did a two, a two Towers Chimps in co-op. So a two, two TCC. Two Towers Co-op Chimps. And I was like, okay, I'd be down to do that. And then he has since, like, played the game for, like, four hours. And then not gotten enough monkey money to buy Sada, which is, we're doing Sada Anti-Balloon. Because though it cannot count for a normal Two Towers Chimps, because Sada has previously soloed Chimps, um, it will count in this one. And... It was my first 2TC ever, but I didn't know that it wasn't actually a real one, which is, you know, kind of sad to learn when I was looking through the official leaderboards. And by official, I mean the BTD6 index leaderboards. And, yeah, so I wanted to do the 2TC one, or the 2TCC one, but, you know, we haven't gotten to that yet. We also wanted to do a four heroes, but, of course, he doesn't have Sada still. Um, you know, kind of sad, but... Hopefully that video should be coming out. I know I said that like last week. I think I said that while recording in a different video for the Inferno Ring, which I was going to do in all pops on the Inferno Ring. But then I got like soft locked for like 25 minutes out of a 45 minute recording on rounds 79 and 80 because I used pickles on round 79 and then had no DPS for the, um, the ZUMG. So... Yeah, that video is probably never going to see the light of day because I got really mad recording it. And then I edited the whole thing. Spent like probably over an hour and a half editing it because I wanted to show all the different strategies. And then I saved the edit. And then when I opened it back up, it was just a four and a half hour recording of the same first nine minutes of that recording. Pasted like a hundred times. Probably not a hundred, probably some different number that I'm not going to do the math for. So I got really fed up with editing that, and now that video is still just unedited. But yeah, so you guys are hopefully going to get to see this video, because this will have some live commentary finally, and it'll make editing it a lot easier. Because I won't have to post-record, and I can just upload it whenever I finish editing it, but yeah. Wow, that's a lot of talking, guys, but Prince of Darkness, soon. I promise he'll be around here somewhere. Probably after we beat this Moab, the next Moab, maybe this Moab. Actually, before we get that Moab, now I'm just gonna take the reticle off and just throw it over there. And now we're gonna go for a village because the more range the Prince of Darkness has, the better. Because that means. Wait, how the Prince of Darkness spawning works is that 
for every balloon killed in his range, I think it, it gives you one graveyard. Okay, that was unfortunate. The whole BFB just popped out of his range, which is why we want more. But yeah, for every balloon popped in his range, I think. I know it's what's popped in his range, but I'm not sure if it's per balloon or something else. But it'll give him a graveyard, and then he spends his, you know, graveyard mana thingy to spawn out balloons. And he shouldn't run out, probably ever, because you usually have a lot. But yeah. Oh, he can see out of he can see out of the thing now. Which is what I intended for it to happen. But as you can see, it's shooting two projectiles. Look, kind of looked like three there, but it wasn't. Which, before, you could only shoot one. But yeah, I'm just going to skip to whenever we get Wizard or Phoenix, or if we ever die, which I don't think we will. Actually, before we do that, I think I'm going to go for a Mib. Just because I don't want Purpose to turn into a problem, just in case this guy's graveyard runs out somehow. And we can't pop them. So I will just go for the Mib. It's probably not necessary. It's probably $10,000 I could have saved, but you know what? Who cares? No, I'm going to watch Instagram reels on my phone. Oh, shoot. Wait, what? Okay. Oh, uh, we're dead. Round 80, which means the ZOMG killed us. But one thing I do know is that the Prince of Darkness can actually solo a ZOMG. But... I will have to actually target him so he's not waves in his graveyard. I will target this here. Does Geraldo have the range potion? He does. So we're going to pop that onto these two. Just for the range because... The more his graveyard, the more his domain can like cover, the better. And this guy now is you know, quite a bit actually outside. But... Yeah. Prince of Darkness... So, he, it looks like he won't spawn the BFBs anymore. So, I do need to use Phoenix. Now, we're going to put this, like, back here, maybe? Are all the balloons going to pop outside of his range? No, they're not. Okay. Yep, and now, Graveyard can start getting wasted again. I don't think I need any of his other stuff. You know what? We'll do Rabbit for the memes. Not really a meme, just, you know, a good tower to have. They might actually start taking from the graveyard, though, which would be kind of annoying. But, yeah. The the gadgeteer rabbits, I think, look really cool. The wind-up ones, and these turrets, too. Insane all around. I wish they would change the shop UI, but I know I'm definitely not alone in that. And that's probably not a very original opinion. But time to watch more Instagram reels until we have fifteen thousand more dollars. Okay, guys, two FB, two B, two ZOMGs this round. So I'm gonna be using the Phoenix because we will soon get the Lord of the Wizard Phoenixes. Don't know why I said that. Why did I say that? Well, that's so cringe. Well, it's too late to redo it now. Come on, one hundred and six more dollars. And we have acquired maybe the wind condition, I'm not really sure. Um What to do, what to do. Homeland's looking pretty fine right now. Overclock, meh, maybe. But yeah, Wizard Lord Phoenix. This is almost seventy thousand dollars, but it is by no means a weak tower. The Prince of Darkness is of course like, insane for its cost. What, 35k? Maybe. And can solo, like, everything up to round 80. Like, once ZOMGs get there, it's kind of difficult, but before that, you know, it can just blow by everything. But yeah, Wizard Lord Phoenix, about twice as much money overall but it's once you have it it's really good i don't think i've ever actually like used it before well i have actually i've, I've i have obviously used it before but never for anything as important as a chimps game and i honestly i'm kind of annoyed that if i can get past the early game this challenge would be really trivial 
So maybe I'll blackboard it again on my own time. There are like a couple advanced maps that like another brick off the coast and spillway that I have not black ordered. I've just beat chimps on. And I don't know if I've said this on camera before or not on camera while being recorded before, but chimps mode, easy. But black bordering chimps mode, that's really the only difficulty in this game. I know they're probably like, oh, it's just because it's intermediate maps and advanced maps. Like, even then, ev you can just, like, pick almost any tower. Not, okay, whoa, 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 that's an overstatement. Call to arms. But you can pick pretty much, I'd say there are 10 to 15 towers in the game. You know, Wizard, Ar Archmage, Prince of Darkness, Spirit of the Forest, um, Carpet of Spikes, um, Apache Prime, um, I'm trying to think, Infernal Ring, Pack Zone, any, like, the bottom two sniper pass, Elite Sniper, oh, wait, shoot, no, oh, wait, Bunnies, wow. That's real ADHD brain right there. I guess now we have Bunny Paragon. Not really a Paragon. Because it takes four. So I don't know why people call it that. But yeah, that's like what? Like five towers? Where as soon as you place them down, it's a free chimps win. And then maybe you need to buy like a first strike. Oh yeah, first strike. Preemptive strike. Um, Sky Shredder. Pop and off. Biggest one. The Mad. The Bez. The Balloon Excursion Zone. Yeah, but look at how fast those meteors fly out. Imagine with Homeland. That's just called arms. Maybe the maybe the ninjas if you have room. Can I outbuff them? Wouldn't that be cool if I could? I don't think I can. I can't see anything, so. Well, I guess those abilities are back up. Wow, kind of laggy, actually. Hold on. I don't think I've ever actually had to do this for a video at least. We'll turn them down a bit. Oh, what? Why do the... Okay, that's not 50%. Why do the... Why do the BFBs, like, just, like, these little bait... Oh, whoa, it's the bad. Um, okay. Well, I was not obviously paying attention enough. Can they beat it? Hmm. Ooh. Wow, the plot thickens. They can beat it, right? You guys can beat this. 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 Prince of Darkness. Have graveyard. Get a graveyard, bro. Um, 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 uh. Well, if I was paying attention, I would have went genie, genie, camo pot, camo pot. This thingy down here. And then I would have started spamming Riju potions. Like this one. So I can have the ability up right away. And then I would change the graveyard placement to there. What? Stop. No, not that way. Other way, other way. Go this way. Go this way. Yeah, look at how easy that was when I was actually competent. Oh. You know what? A million pops on him. How much did Geraldo do? Geraldo do. 100k? 800k on him. Shoot, he's hurt with 4,000 actually. How did this Dark Monkey get so much more than these two? That's actually kind of weird. But yeah. Whoa, Vortex. What is Vortex looking like this week? Why they have to ban boat and sub? You can't use them anyway. Wait, that's actually four paragons banned. We still have ace paragons, so you know that's gonna be an easy challenge. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. Yeah, guys, drop a comment if you want to see me do vortex this week. Also, um, my balloon skins, my Moab skins. I use the water ones. Bad whale, lobster BFB, shark DDT. 
I did I was using the Doomslay one before. Boat and then Turtle. Pufferfish Moab is the only one I don't have. Because I like the boat Moab. Drop a comment if you want to see me grind some different skins. Yeah, guys, like and subscribe. This video was honestly kind of painful to make because it's another not black border added to my weakening integrity in doing black borders. Yeah, guys, like and subscribe. Subscribing actually helps me out a ton. Um, yeah, thank you guys for watching if you made it this far. Thank you. Watch time is also something that you know is needed. So yeah. Thank you to everyone who's made it this far, guys. See ya.